You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Attraction Checklist is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. Not only do patrons get to hear these shows up to a week in advance before their release, they also get special downloads of just the recorded attraction audio for each episode, and they get exclusive bonus episodes about attractions from other theme parks. Consider becoming a patron today for as little as a dollar a month over at patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. And thank you for your support. My name is Grant Pachoco, and I invite you to join me on my quest to learn about and experience every Disney Park attraction I possibly can. This is Attraction Checklist. Welcome to Attraction Checklist. As we celebrate the opening of Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland, let's take a ride on a pre batu attraction, the Space Mountain Overlay, known as Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. Hyperspace Mountain is described on the Disneyland website by saying, Hurtle through hyperspace while dodging furious dogfights during this high-speed Star Wars adventure. Riders must be 40 inches or taller to ride this attraction that the thrill level describes as being a thrill ride with small drops that is dark, loud, and scary. Fast passes are available for this attraction, and a single rider line is also available. Now, before we fire up the hyperdrive, here are five fast facts about Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. 1. Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain first blasted into Disneyland on November 14th, 2015 as part of the Season of the Force event celebrating the release of Star Wars The Force Awakens. 2. According to Walt Disney Imagineering's Executive Creative Director Brent Strong, it only takes a single hour to change Space Mountain from the classic version to Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. He is quoted as saying, The longest part of switching from classic Space Mountain to Hyperspace Mountain is actually putting up the marquee in front of the attraction. 3. The development of Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain started with the music of Star Wars composer John Williams. Imagineers would edit together different pieces of the score and then ride the attraction with headphones and personal audio devices to see how the music timed out with the ride. 4. The new soundtrack for Hyperspace Mountain was recorded by the London Symphony Orchestra at famed Abbey Road Studios. And 5. According to the storyline, the space battle that takes place during the ride is actually the one that caused the Rex Star Destroyer on the planet of Jakku that the character of Rey is searching through in the beginning of The Force Awakens. Well, now it's time to ride Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. After the ride, I'll talk about my thoughts on this attraction, and this is a binaural recording, so if you have headphones, put them on now as we experience Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain at Disneyland.
Jojo. And there you have Hyperspace Mountain here at Disneyland. The limited time Star Wars overlay of the classic Space Mountain. I'm grateful that it is limited time. I don't like any overlay on Space Mountain. I'm the purist. I want, I want classic old Space Mountain. But I will say that I do like this version, Hyperspace Mountain, better than I like uh, Ghost Galaxy. I think Ghost Galaxy... I don't get it. I don't understand it. But this re review is about Hyperspace Mountain. Um, I like it. You know, if you're going to do an overlay, I guess this is fine. I'm hoping that once Star Wars lands open, we maybe won't see this anymore. But I have a feeling that we'll still keep seeing it because it'll be like for May the 4th. They'll always bring it back and all that stuff. Uh, it's fine. It's, I mean, Space Mountain at its core is a great ride. Um, I do like the effects where the lasers are shooting alongside of you and it looks like they're zooming past your car. I think that's neat. Um, it seemed on this ride through that some of the stuff was not working because you could you would hear, you know, some of the dialogue, but there would be you wouldn't be it just pitch black. And then other times you would hear dialogue and you would see, you know, X-Wings and TIE Fighters and all that kind of stuff. So this is uh, I'll ride it if the rides are not long. I went in the single rider line here, which was actually still pretty long, but the wait times were over an hour, so uh, like I think 100 minutes or something. So I didn't want to uh, wait in the regular line. I took the single rider line, which I'm glad that they finally have a single rider line, although it seems now that the word is out. People know that there's a single rider line, so the single rider line is long. Um, and there you go. There is Hyperspace Mountain here at Disneyland. Do you agree or disagree with our thoughts on this attraction? Or do you just want to let me know what attraction we should go on next? Send me an email at hello at saturdaymorningmedia.com or you can let me know via Twitter where my username is Toasterboy or post on the Attraction Checklist Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash attraction checklist. This episode was edited by Stephen Staver. Attraction Checklist is a production of Saturday Morning Media and made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly pledge for as little as a dollar a month. Patrons get new episodes before they are released, downloads of the ride audio recorded for each episode, and exclusive bonus episodes featuring attractions from other theme parks. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly pledge today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. Attraction Checklist is copyright 2019 Saturday Morning Media, Grant Pachoco Executive Producer, all rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.